This is the Iveco Australis natural power 4x2 tractor unit. This is the LNG version. LNG is liquefied natural gas, so it's natural gas the same as comes to your home for your cooker and boiler, but it goes through a super cooling process down to minus 162 degrees C, which then means it turns into a liquid and we can store more volume of gas on the vehicle itself. This vehicle has twin tanks and therefore it has a range of 1,600 kilometres between fills. So you get out of the cab, put on the PPE, you must wear cryogenic gloves that will protect you. Uh, you can see they're a longer glove, not just ordinary rigger gloves, because they must protect you down to minus 162 degrees C. You must also have your arms and legs covered, so no short sleeves or short trousers, and also then wear a visor. You can just wear goggles, you don't need to wear the full face visor if you don't have that. So put your PPE on, if you then come to the back of the tank, if you undo the cover and drop that down, you see two covers over the vent nozzle and the filling nozzle. If you remove both those covers and then you'll notice that there is an earth connection. You must earth the vehicle at all times and you can just connect that to the bottom of the, uh, the cover on the tank but it must be present at all times. The next thing to do is to get the vent nozzle and get the airline and blow out the end of the vent nozzle with the airline. This is just simply because on the previous fill, when it's been so cold, it will then defrost and there will be water on that connection. When you then connect that to the vehicle, it may not make a fully secure connection or it will then uh, create ice where it shouldn't do. Then connect the vent nozzle at this point. At that point then, get the main filling nozzle and again, you need to blow this out with the air gun just to make sure that there's no moisture in the connection so it will form a proper seal on the tank itself. And then you connect the filling to the tank by making sure that both handles lock securely as you push it on. At that point, you need to go over to the authorization machine with your tag and enter the information required, registration number and odometer uh, reading. Come back to the main control panel and it will ask you to start filling. Press the start fill button and the process will then start automatically. Every 45 seconds you will need to press the button to make sure it knows you're still there and the filling process is continuing. It will give you a 15 second warning. If you don't press it in that time you will need to go back to the authorization machine and rescan your fob. This needs to be done every 45 seconds. Once the vehicle is full the filling will stop automatically. At that point, the first thing to be disconnected is the filling hose. Take that off and put it back in its holder. Then remove the vent hose, again putting it back in the holder. And then disconnect the earth wire and again put that back on the station. You then need to put both the caps back on the vent um, hose connector and the filling connector and then reclose the cover on the tank. If you do not close the cover properly on the tank, the vehicle will not start due to the fact that it has a micro switch in it which stops you, anybody driving off with any hoses still connected to the vehicle. 